Wow, this really could be happening. Crazy intro. Oh, we have our terrible Pizza Man! OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started you already know give the video a like 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 big thumbs up we are doing the playstation 5 console giveaway in october make sure you're subscribed to this channel follow me on twitter and you are in the giveaway bro the big news is this whole abandoned situation. <laughs> All right, let me start to bring y'all up to date and then I'm gonna bring you to where I'm at where it looks like it's really gonna be a big triple A game, not this abandoned game. A indie developer, Blue Box Studios, has been teasing this game abandoned. Showed off um, live screenshots or whatnot it was delayed a month ago. It was supposed to come out yesterday, like a, a live interactive app on the PlayStation Store. It got delayed again yesterday. But this is where the story gets interesting. This is one of the tweets from Blue Box Game Studios. Abandoned. And as you can see in the background, look, look at that face in the background. All right, that's all I need to say. Look at the eye patch. Who looks like that blurred out image? Solid Snake. And then, this is what tipped the scale for me in the direction of, okay, there's something more to this game than we all thought. Shui Yoshida. Uh, an executive, PlayStation executive, he tweets out yesterday, hmm, um, <laughs> that he has hashtag fear share for abandoned, hmm, bro, if there was something wrong, <coughs> you don't like joke around when a company has a technical issue and the app couldn't go up when there was promise to the fans, you type out, we apologize for the technical hiccups. We're gonna um, get things straight. I hope you guys look forward to the abandoned. No, he teases us. Bro, I'm going out on a limb and I'm saying, this is either really, I, I think it's the Metal Gear, Metal Gear PS5. So some kind of Metal Gear, Metal Gear PS5 remake, PS1 game. Blue Box Studios is just a, uh, a, 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 a decoy, and it might be Blue Point Studios that's actually making this game. As I said in my last video, I'm double down. I'm um, doubling down with all the stuff that's happened yesterday on the internet. It's happening, bro. I, I really believe it's happening. So the saga continues as. This gets updated. Information comes. I have you guys covered. All right. Next news item. I tweeted this out yesterday um, because they made this announcement. <coughs> and I said, this could be one of the uh, biggest sleeper hits this year. Tales of Arise. A free demo will be available August 18th in about a week on PS4, PS5, and Xbox family of consoles. August 18th, bro. The Tales series, one of the best JRPG series. Looking forward to getting my hands on this demo um, next week, next week. So keep your eyes peeled. Make sure to check out this demo. 
I used to uh, love these games on my GameCube. My GameCube, uh, dope, dope, dope stuff. So the Tales series. Now this next news item is pretty, pretty interesting. PlayStation has acquired Crunchyroll. For those who don't know what Crunchyroll is, they're the company that owns uh, the rights to stream a lot of these huge, huge, huge animes. And this lines up with a rumor weeks and weeks ago. That's why I report on these rumors because most of them happened that Sony was about to acquire Crunchyroll and bundle it with PlayStation Plus. Now, According to comicbook.com, Sony could be coming with a PlayStation Plus Plus type service, a premium PlayStation Plus service, which don't make sense because I thought PlayStation Plus was already the PlayStation premium service. I'm hoping that they actually do this. We have the PlayStation Plus, I include Crunchyroll because my kids um, like anime, especially my older two teenagers. Um, and bundle it with PlayStation Now for one subscription service for the year. 99 bucks for the year. I think that'll be dope. I think that'll be a great buy, great, great, great uh, situation. So, but the news is Sony has final, finalized the acquisition of Crunchyroll. So hopefully they bundle all of their <coughs> services for one PlayStation uh, subscription uh, something to compete with Game Pass. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. All right. And the next news item. Grand Theft Auto V. The game that will never go away. Has been confirmed. 4K. 60 frames per second. On the PlayStation 5. And so... If you've been looking forward to going back on GTA 5, I beat the game uh, when it first came out on my PlayStation 4. Dope, 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 dope. The single player is dope. I never really got into the um, online aspect of it, but online is huge on GTA. It's going to run at 4K, 60 frames per second. And I believe all PlayStation owners will get the game for free. This is the first game they showed um, at the PlayStation event last year back in June. Dudes, do not sleep on the power and popularity of GTA 5. A lot of dudes are like, what, can, what, what is it, um, PlayStation coming out to compete with Halo Infinite this fall? First of all, <coughs> when it comes to exclusives, PS5 still is trumping them. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, Returnal, uh, all the games that launch, Miles Morales, um, Sackboy, Big Adventure. They have way more exclusives on the PS5. We're just talking about for the holiday. But this, um, Grand Theft, if there's a game that's bigger than Halo, you bumped your head if you think Halo is bigger than Grand Theft Auto, bro. Nothing is bigger than Grand Theft Auto. So this Grand Theft Auto PS5 version and that abandoned tease. This could be Sony's ace in the hole for... Um, um, for holiday. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bruh. We out. Peace. Outro.